you have met many friends and relatives who show their money like Donald Trump but when the time comes, when you need money, the most they flew away. Instead of lending a bag of dollars, they give you a bag of excuses. To avoid such a frustrating situation in the future, put yourself into such a situation that everyone is ready to lend you money. People will be calling you to lend you unlimited money. Whenever you ask for money from anyone, they will be happy to give it you within 24 hours and the best part is you don't have to become rich to get that facility. Hi, my name is Sam. From Dollar Forest and I have a blueprint to show you that it's possible. Yes absolutely possible. So let's start. Practically there are two ways to achieve that position. Number 1. Always improve your credit score. Number 2. Change your money spending habits. Since it's need a long discussion, so I will make a separate video on the money spending habits. So first principle is, always improve your credit score. But a big question is why? In real life you can't depend on family and friends for emergency funds. They have all sorts of commitments in their life, and they may hesitate to help you. So the other way is you can ask from banks, in the form of credit cards, and other sorts of loans. Here banks will give you on basis of your credit score. Best part ish. You can improve it if you have bad credit. There are 17 secrets to improve your credit score and at the end of the video, I will share one big bang way to execute these 17 strategies smoothly and will boost your credit score rapidly. Secret number 1. Get lines of credit. To start your credit card adventure you have to become a player, which means you have to take more credit cards. Why not loans? Huh? Because there are two reasons. Reason number 1 loan process is longer than taking a credit card. Reason number 2 once you get the loan. Monday installments becomes due whether you utilize the full fund or not. But in the situation of credit card, you have to pay your dues if you utilize it. So you should grab such a pert unity. Now coming back to the point. Start applying for credit cards. Even best take 2 to 3 credit cards of different banks. Secret number 2. Utilize credit less than 30%. Now after receiving 2 to 3 credit cards, start utilizing up to 30% of limit. Many people do mistakes either they don't even touch their cards, or else they fully use it. If you have fully utilized it. Don't worry, I have solution for you after few minutes in this video. So utilizing only 30% of your cards, you are showing to credit bureaus that you are really disciplined. Secret number 3. Pay several times in a month. Many people try to pay bills on time. But it will help you not to lower your score, and it will move up slowly. I want you to hit your score smartly and faster. So for that don't pay your monthly credit card bills at one day in a month. Break it up into small portions, and pay on several days in a particular month. For example, on next month you have to pay $1000, don't wait to pay after 30 days instead, pay $250 for each Monday. This type of payment structure, will send signals to credit bureau that you are very focused, on not keeping dues with you. You are a great customer to a bank. Secret number 4. Authorized user. Tell me, what happens, when you show your selfie, with Kevin Hart to your friends? Or if you start dating Leonardo or Scarlett Johnson? You are not an ordinary person anymore. Your authority becomes bigger. Or when Donald Trump is your cousin. People associate you, with that celebrity. In the same way bank allows you, to add an authorized user to your account which means your friend or family member, who have a great credit score, can attach his name to you. It will improve your credit score drastically. So to start this strategy do two important things. Number 1. Find someone, who has a good credit score and is ready to help you up. Number 2 call your bank, to ask about the process of adding an authorized user to your account. Secret number 5. Dispute credit card report inaccuracy. Open up your credit card statements, and credit report, and search for errors made by the bank. Banks have a strong ecosystem, but still as it is operated by humans so there may be a chance of errors. So, reconcile your statement, and call the bank to rectify the errors as soon as possible. Secret number 6. Ask for expanding limits. You are worried about your overusage of your cards. So here is a solution for you. After paying a lot of dues, ask your bank to expand your lines of credit, which will automatically lower your credit utilization rate to under 30%. But I want you to give you a red alert. Make sure the bank don't go through hard inquiry, to move up your credit limit. It will have a negative effect on your score. So ask the bank, about the process for expansion lines of credit, and then decide for expansion. Secret number 7. 
connect rent and other utility payments with credit card. In different states, rent laws are very strict. In Virginia the landlord have the right to call police to kick out tenant, if you don't get rent within 4 days of due date, and landlords shamelessly uses the law against tenants. So to avoid such embarrassment, put rent payouts in your auto pay mode in your credit card, and you should also add other utility payments to stay out of headaches. Secret number 8. Use a secured credit card. Another way to build, or rebuild your credit, is with a secured credit card. This type of card is backed by a cash deposit, you pay it up front, and the deposit amount is usually the same as your credit limit. You use it like a normal credit card, and your on-time payments help build your credit. Secret number 9. Pay bills on time. No strategy to improve your credit, will be effective if you pay late. Worse, late payments can stay on your credit reports for 7 and a half years. If you miss a payment by 30 days or more, call the creditor immediately. Pay up as soon as you can and ask if the creditor will consider no longer reporting the missed payment to the credit bureaus. Even if the creditor won't do that, it's worth getting current on the account as soon as possible. Every month an account is marked delinquent hurts your score. Secret number 10. Deal with collections accounts. Paying off a collections account, removes the threat that you will be sued over the debt, and you may be able to, persuade the collection agency, to stop reporting the debt once you pay it. You can also remove collections accounts, from your credit reports, if they aren't accurate or are too old to be listed. Secret number 11. Get a credit builder loan. If you're focused on building credit from scratch, or recovering after a hit to your score, a credit builder loan from a credit union could help. You'll make fixed payments for 6 to 24 months, and your money will sit in a savings account you'll be able to access at the end of the loan term. In the meantime, the lender will report your on-time payments to the credit bureaus, strengthening your score. Secret number 12. Keep old accounts open. Even if you no longer use an old credit card, it's typically best to keep the account open. That's because your credit scores benefit from a long credit history and a high total credit limit. Closing established accounts will shorten the average age of your accounts and lower your total credit limit. It will take years before an account closed in good standing drops off your credit report, but the effects on your credit utilization rate are immediate. If a credit card comes with a high annual fee you can't afford, closing the account could be a good option, or ask your issuer to downgrade the card to a no-fee version if possible. Secret number 13. Track your credit score. When you monitor your credit score, you can intervene quickly if it drops. You can address factors that influence your score, such as high balances, late payments or too many recent hard inquiries. There are many ways to check and monitor your credit score for free, including through your current credit card issuer or bank. Secret number 14. Protect your personal information to avoid fraud. Your credit can be affected by identity theft if fraudsters access your personal information to open accounts in your name. To help keep your data safe, use a password manager to create and store unique passwords and avoid making financial transactions on public Wi-Fi networks, which could be vulnerable to hackers. Secret number 15. Responsibly add to your credit mix. Lenders look for a mix of accounts in your credit file to show that you can manage multiple types of credit. These include installment loans, for which you pay a fixed amount per month, and revolving credit, which comes with a limit you can charge up to, as is the case with credit cards and home equity lines of credit. If you only have one type of credit in your file, adding something different could improve your credit mix. Credit mix accounts for just 10% of your FICO score, however, so don't apply for credit simply to improve your score. That could put you at risk of taking on debt you can't repay. Secret number 16. Avoid credit repair scams. Some for-profit companies claim to be able to remove negative information from your credit report for a fee. But the truth is that no company can legally erase information from your file if it's accurate. Avoid spending money on credit repair and take tried and true steps to improve your score instead, like lowering debt balances and paying your bills on time. Secret number 17. Get a loan with the help of a cosigner. Making on-time payments toward an installment loan, similar to making timely payments on a credit card helps build credit history. Besides using a credit builder loan, getting a traditional one such as a car loan can add positive information to your credit report and improve your credit mix. If you can't qualify for a loan on your own, a cosigner can help, but make sure the cosigner knows what they are getting into. If you can't afford to repay the loan, it becomes their responsibility. Also, as always, only seek out a loan if you really need it, not simply to improve credit. 
Potentially boosting your score should be an added bonus or motivation, not the central reason. As you have seen the video till here. So here is the Big Bang strategy for you. This strategy will help you to execute the previous 17 strategies very smoothly. Big Bang strategy. Cash your credit card. All the secrets will work successfully, if you are going to apply this strategy. So listen to it very carefully. Cashing your credit card doesn't mean you withdraw money from the ATM. Some credit card don't have such facility, and if some has, then it's going to charge you an unlimited amount of interest. So what you can do, is go to your friend, or family business establishment. Ask them if they can pay you in cash, if you swipe card of same amount. If they got convinced, then swipe your card just like you do shopping and take the cash from them. If 2% transactional fees is charged by bank, so pay it and take the remaining 98% balance. Make sure it should be a maximum of 30% of your card limit. Take the money, and keep it in your house, for at least one week. Don't touch it. Then after one week, deposit that cash in your bank to pay for your credit card bills. Another bonus strategy for you as you are still watching this video. People often ask me how can I raise my credit in next 30 days? Paying bills on time, zero and paying down balances on your credit cards are the most powerful steps you can take to raise your credit. Issuers report your payment behavior to the credit bureaus every 30 days, so positive steps can help your credit quickly. In reality all the secrets and tricks I discussed will help you boost your credit score for a while but honestly it will not stay permanent. To mark it permanently high you have to change your money spending habits. What type of exact habits you need, I will discuss with you in my other coming videos. So to get those videos, subscribe to my channel, and switch on the notification. If you liked the video, then please give a thumbs up, and share it to your friends, to change their life. Feel free to ask anything in comment section. Always remember. You should control your money. Don't let money control you.